Joe in real life. Feeling pretty good this morning, feeling clean, feeling spicy, ready to get to work. Um, I've had a good weekend with the fam and yeah. So this week I'm gonna do knees over toes three times and my, ad my upper body adaptation for knees over toes three times. Um, that's too much for sure. But I just want to see what happens if I load it up. Like if I can, if I can work on some density in some of these weak, weak parts. Like, like I'll give you an example. Um, we only do one set of 30 Jefferson curls at a very light weight. And it's not very challenging. I mean, not at all. But I carry the soreness from that movement in a very specific part at the insertion of my hamstrings for a week, which means muscularly, I'm way too strong for the movement, but like my joint strength is way too weak. And um, it's good to know, <laughs> right? Right, that's really good to know because because that's kind of like a, a secret little time bomb in my butt waiting to go off and I do something crazy. And I'd like to mitigate that as best I can. I'm gonna show you the movements today. Uh, I'm kind of dreading doing that. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to film, but um, I'm gonna do it anyway. And um, yeah, like, Maybe that's it. Maybe that's all I need to say right now. We're going to do that. We're going to do that today. I can't decide exactly how I'm going to do it yet, but I got confidence in me. I'm going to figure it out. I got a handsome beard. I got my glasses on. I got my coffee. But what can't I do, right? <laughs> so uh, stay tuned, okay? I'm never going to be a super athlete, you know? Um, my brain works pretty good, my heart works pretty good, my body works pretty good. Pretty good at a lot of things, but I'm not great at anything. And certainly athletics, sport, weightlifting, running, what have you. I, I have no aspirations to be elite or even especially good at any of these things. It's just not... Even if I did, even if I had some sort of inborn drive to pursue this, um, it's not in the cards, man. Like I don't have the genes for it. Um, but more than that, I don't have. There's a nameless quality that I just don't possess, and I d we'll use a nameless quality as a placeholder. Maybe it'll come to me, you know. Um, and that's okay. I'm kind of one of these jack-of-all-trade types. And that's not something I say with any sort of mournfulness. I, I like that about myself. Like, I can be thrust down in a situation with completely novel problems and novel tools. And I got a pretty good chance of working it out. Uh, to at least an adequate level and that's something I take great pride in you know uh, I enjoy a, a wide spectrum of things and um, and I enjoy a wide spectrum of aptitude you know and so then why this every day right why this journal and why this um, kind of lazy pursuit of oh, those sissy squats look weird. <laughs> well, I don't know exactly, you know, part of it is because it, it functions as a proper journal and that like, I really like that, you know, I like revisiting it. I like thinking about the past in this way. I like the idea that the last day of my life, while unlikely, it could be a squat every day day. Like, that feels borderline magical to me, you know? Um, 
but there's another reason and I can't flesh out exactly what that other reason is and and I didn't know that this reason would exist when I started it kind of just well I guess it's a nameless quality again you know there's some sort of placeholding um, idea or attitude that's not completely fleshed out in my mind yet that compels me to do this. Now, if I was a cynical person, and sometimes I am, um, could say that it's, it's my addictive qualities, you know, that I have a predilection for addiction. And now that I'm no longer putting powder up my nose or sneaking booze, um, I have to fill that void in a way. I have to meet that compulsive itch with something else. It, I think that's a fair assessment, but not a very enticing one, not a very exciting one, not a very creative one. Um, more likely, there's this nameless force or driver or it's like it's like the pursuit of a game it's like I'm playing a game that I don't know how it ends and I'm not 100% clear on the objectives but I know that it does end and I, I guess there's a faith element in that and I'm excited to see that ending I'm excited to run into it um, and have some have some understanding of what what the game meant you know now those of you who are long time viewers here oh yeah my shirt smelled so bad I had to take it off I'm just hitting my minimum today the um, knees over toes work was exhausting absolutely exhausting arguably my worst sled pull ever today now to be fair to me it is cr it is early in the morning and it is crazy hot here in savannah georgia so i'm not taking that personally but yeah long time viewers here will know that kind of my philosophy on life is that that it's a game that we're unclear of the rules and the objectives and we discover them as we go and we write them as we go and and, and so it's not surprising that I would overlay that principle on to like this, this thing I'm doing, this journal, this training. Um, you know, it's kind of like Mushashi says that once you understand the way, generally you see it everywhere. And I, I think that's true of all principles, not just the way, <laughs> you know, um, you come to understand a thing. And then that's all you can see. You, you, as a child, I was a pretty good chess player. And once I got a handle on the game and my obsession for it really took over, I saw chess tactics everywhere, everywhere in life. People were playing chess without a board, but they were just, they were living their lives. They were just doing things. And I, I would always think, undefended pieces lead to tactics my favorite chess mantra and I would watch how people milled through their existence and and did different things sometimes making very good moves but leaving pieces undefended providing opportunity for tactics everywhere um, and it made me very fearful as a child because I wonder about my own undefended pieces and who is going to strike in on him. And that's uh, hilarious because like life on the ground is not a chessboard, you know, but I really truly believed this and saw it everywhere, everywhere I went. <sighs> I don't know. I'm kind of rambling today. This one fits in the category of pseudo philosophical rants. I'm looking lean and hungry in the video. I've got my skin tone tank top on <laughs> and yeah i'm excited for this week it's going to be really hard this is day one and it went terribly so 
<laughs> so the rest of the week promises to be truly awful. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do six days of this work. Tomorrow I will show you the upper body routine I've been putting myself through. It's worse than this. So, th you know, that promises to be exciting at least. Uh, that moved okay. I'm not upset with it. Anyway, this is Joe in real life. Thank you for tolerating me. Be nice to each other today. I'm going to try hard to do the same. And I will see you tomorrow. All right. Be good, guys.